So, we've overcome this before. Upgrading the world market for oil will be challenging. To do this, America will have to stop buying authoritarian oil itself, and then it will have to convince the West and then the world to do the same thing. And that's going to be challenging. But luckily, the second ground for hope is that America has a huge head start in doing that. Because the world already speaks as though it believes a different, better, modern principle for buying and selling natural resources. And that's nothing other than one of America's deepest political ideas, which was expressed by Lincoln in his first inaugural. It's nothing other than the idea that a country belongs to its people. A country belongs to its people, and that includes the oil. It's the people, and not power, who should have the ultimate right to decide what happens to the land, including its natural resources. Now, that's an American principle, right? It's not a partisan principle. So let me give you both sides of the aisle saying that the people own the oil. Senator Bob Graham, Democrat of Florida, recently said, the oil and gas off our coasts is an American asset. It belongs to the people of the United States of America. Very natural. And George Bush, on the other side of the aisle, in 2006 said of Iraq's oil, Iraq's oil belongs to the Iraqi people. It's their asset. So this principle is commonly said, it's widely believed, all it means in practical terms is that the people should be able to hold their government accountable for the decisions that the government makes about natural resources. So the government should be accountable to the people when it passes laws that privatize the resources like we do here in America or when it sells those resources to foreigners, or when it even decides to leave them in the ground. Lincoln's principle just requires that the government be accountable to the people for resource decisions. And another great good fortune of our time in history is that the whole world now speaks that language. As a result of the great struggles for self-determination in the 20th century, almost every country now has signed up to the words, the resources belong to the people, or as it says in Article I of both of the major human rights treaties, all peoples may for their own ends freely dispose of their natural wealth and resources. Insofar as the world has heroes, they are Gandhi and Mandela, and they are heroes of popular sovereignty, which includes popular sovereignty over resources. Almost every country has signed one of those two treaties. US, China, India, South Africa, Brazil. 98% of humanity lives in a country that has already sign the treaty where those words occur. So the world already talks the talk, but even America hasn't taken the steps to make Lincoln's principle into real law. To do that, America would pass a law that would say, the resources belong to the people and if someone's selling the resources from the country beyond any possible approval by the people, well, then those resources are literally stolen, and we're not going to buy them. And so we're going to get ourselves out of business with the actors who are selling off the country's resources without any possible assent from the people. 